Today I'm going to talk. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about something that I've said before um, in a previous video, and I've been dominated by agents since I said it. I said I don't know what I'm talking about, and now I'm getting you don't know what you're talking about. Well, I'm a big girl, and I can admit that I do not know everything about economics, and I do not know how mixed markets work that well or the shifts in the economy. I have a basic understanding, but then again, you know that I'm disabled in math, and I cannot put the figures together. And a lot of people can't. Even people with degrees don't spend hours a day doing this unless it pertains to their job. I mean, a lot of times you go to college and you get a completely different job than the one that your degree prepared you for. That's happened to like everyone in my family. Okay, so anyway, um, when they do that, it's sheer domination. It isn't actually like putting a thought forward or something like that. It's just about crushing the person as fast as possible so that you can put in what you say and then nobody will question it. And they'll be like, oh, ha ha, Kayla's stupid. Yes, Kayla is stupid, but she calls herself slow because polite society can't handle me telling the truth. Okay, but I'm saying that you, you can't just dominate someone like that. You have to prove why that person doesn't know what they're talking about. And you have to know what you're talking about, which I found a lot of people were unable to do growing up. A lot of people were like, well, you don't know what I'm talking about. You have an LD. Everything you say is stupid because you know, blah, blah, blah. And then I'd be like, I'm stupid. And they'd be like, you can't call yourself that. You have low self-esteem. You're being manipulative. It's like, God bless. Humans annoy me. I'm not human. I'm an animal and I expect to have animal rights, but we won't get into that. Um, this happens a lot with quantum physics and things like that Kaku does. I don't know how to say his name, but he was talking about how, I mean, basically he thinks we're children and he's giving us like these baby lectures and stuff. He really hasn't done anything of merit. All he's done is written some sci-fi books. You know, if he's trying to get the public interested, that's good. I give him kudos for that. But, you know, pretending that he's a top scientist and knows everything about God and everything about uh, evolution and stuff like that is not true. He's not all-encompassing. Like he said, that, oh, why would we make monkeys? Because monkeys would just become humans. But actually, monkeys are better and faster at short-term math than we are because of the difference in... um. The difference in our language ability, some of the higher abilities that we got as a species uh, didn't happen to lower species, but they're better at things. I'm sure there are tons of animals that are way better at math than humans. Humans are not good at math. Okay, it took us like two, three thousand years to get past the basics. Okay, so special education is kind of like being a dirt citizen, and I absorb all the hate from that too. Um, do not enroll your kids. Get a tutor at first unless it's severe. Now, if you have a child that has Down syndrome or something like that, yes, put them in special education because they will be sheltered and watched and they're very happy people and they don't get treated as bad because it's an obvious thing. With us, they're like, oh, well, you'll look normal, but you must be screwed up somehow. All your opinions are stupid. I'm not going to get into that. Um, just get them a tutor. Okay, next, Gretchen and Mary Bill Gates. And with that very happy announcement, because they would be great together, I have decided. And I'm going to go away now. Because nobody loves me and I don't know what I'm talking about.